Welcome to Rehash. On the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Thank you so much to Live Action Liam for his introduction. If you'd like to provide one of your own, link is in the description where you can provide one. So I have a newsy type thing, and you have a newsy type whatever. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the top 10 pre-order list for E3, and along with that, crazy Battlefield 4 physics. And today I wanted to talk to you about Team Mobile and how the CEO is painting himself as some sort of Batman. Batman, really? Batman. All right, you know what? I'm gonna let ladies go first. Hey, yeah, thank you so much. So E3 just got done. What was it right? A few days ago it just got done. It seems like everybody's milking that, really. I was excited. I actually didn't get a chance to even watch it. I've been seeing glimpses of trailers and I know, like, I feel like I'm coming into everything later, yeah. so uh, we apologize about that. We've been doing a lot of E3 things. I, I, I've been watching it every single year, the live event, and, and this year I just didn't have time. The time zones were so drastic, it was just... Uh, but regardless, I'm still catching up on everything, and I'm assuming you are as well. But I want to talk to you about the top 10 pre-order list that you guys have pre-ordered games for. So the very first one is Rare Replay by Microsoft. This is a game of a studio that has been around for over 30 years, and they're redeveloping or remastering a lot of their older games that they've now, made. Now, interesting fact, um, some of the older guys from Rare, yeah. uh, and I don't mean old as an age, I mean they've just <laughs> been there forever, yeah. uh, they left and they've started their own company and they're creating a new spiritual successor to, successor to Banjo-Kazooie. And uh, it's called Ukulele. They actually just finished a funding campaign really? thing. You know, I see it earlier. They, they were like asking for like 175,000 what pounds or euros? Pounds. And they had like two million. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think it's gonna be pretty successful. I, I think that that game <laughs> had better come with like everything. <laughs> and, and then the rest of the games go as follows. We have Gears of War Ultimate Edition. We have Doom, which as a kid growing up, I played a lot of it. Uh, Dishonored 2, Final Fantasy, I'm not sure what that number is because there's so many of them. Gears of War 4, South Park, The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> butthole. Butthole, right? Butthole. Okay. And then we have The Fractured Butthole, and we have Horizon Zero Down, Dishonored, Definite Edition, and then Xbox One Elite's Wireless Control. I'm actually surprised that South Park isn't higher on that list yeah. because of the way that they were kind of playing two gamers. By a spe that stinger that we were talking about at the end yeah, of their the trailer. Yeah, yeah I, I can't believe that that uh, didn't bump them a little bit higher on the list because everything that South Park does, they do with this like self conscious, yeah. like, you know, they know that it, it not angers people, but that, you know, some people are let down by pre orders. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they so. tell the truth. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. Okay, so, and I wanted to talk to you about this clip um, that includes the T Mobile CEO. Um, as some sort of comic style Batman, uh, where he talks about the what he calls a duopoly, AT and T and Verizon looking to control um, all mobile bandwidth, and something that you can do to stop that if you'd like. Um, and I don't know, it's just interesting that he paints himself as the hero. Like, though it may be the <laughs> yeah. case, maybe he's you know doing this for benevolent reasons and and whatever. I don't know. It kind of seems like um, like an ego-driven thing, just just a little bit. But it's definitely an interesting watch. Uh, link is in the description if you'd like to watch the whole thing. Uh, and then not to the comments. Comments A B C D. Well, I don't know what's after that. First comment I'd like to go over is by one Mr. Zero Mizukin. I'm assuming. I don't know. I think you did pretty good, because if uh, I attempted, it'd be a lot worse. So, uh, he says, Hey guys, it would be awesome if you had an option in Heartbeat, which would tell if a video or a song is copyrighted, and I mean, not your video, or our video, just one in the analytics options, so on and so forth. Comment is on the screen now if you'd like to take a look. So, uh, the problem with this is that we can't have... Yeah, copyright is such a massive thing. Yeah. Like, massively, <laughs> massively, <laughs> massive. Like, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to get a copyright on something, and to have an, uh, an all-inclusive list or, um, you know, maybe even a function where something listens or watches and says, yep, that's copyright, uh, that's, it's impossible. Because keep this in mind, okay? Copyright is a very touchy subject because a lot of people don't understand it, and I don't want to say much that's going to lead people to misunderstand. But every time you upload a video that you 110% make, you own the copyright on that. 
That is how copyright works. And there's a piece in copyright law that allows people to use small sections for certain purposes called fair use of copyrighted material. It's not a very clear-cut thing. The best thing that you can do for your channel is to study copyright and make sure that you are on the right side of the law. Now, I'm not trying to be gimmicky here, but like literally if you do go to the, like I think it's the Google website or the YouTube homepage, like I, I before I started making videos, I read every single article they made. Every single article. And we'll definitely also make sure to link down below to the U.S. government's um, pages and articles on fair use, so you can read through this. Um, it does take a long time to kind of get a feel for what is and is not fair use. But the thing about it is, if you're doing YouTube to like not only have fun, but to make it evolve into a career, it's something that you literally need to know. Yeah. Because what if you get three years down the road, you don't understand copyright now, but then you do, and then you're making content now that's copywritten. So what if you get a million subscribers, the content you're making now is all copywritten, and your channel's gone. So, I mean, it's, it's really worth going into. Um, okay, and I've got another one here. Um, let's see here from uh, Kaiser Herzen, who we have actually featured just the other day. Hey. Um, and he says, uh, have you heard of micro drones? Uh, they are the size of a hummingbird. I actually have heard of these things. Yeah, I've seen a video of them. And, um, they look just like birds. When I was whitewater rafting with our boss the other day and yeah. got this horrible sunburn and all that stuff, um, we actually saw one. And not only are they the size of like hummingbirds, they sound like insects yeah. when they fly. <laughs> it's like this this horrib, like, horrid, like, yeah, like, it's <laughs> irritating. And then to wrap up the awesome comments you guys leave, I wanted to get one from Mega Badger. He says, you should have coffee cups on the table and dress up in monkey suits, hashtag sophisticated rehash. I don't, I, like know if we can, I don't know if we can do the monkey suits, but we can definitely do the coffee cups. We can do suits and ties. Yeah. Then we would be styling like that one guy from Backstreet Boys. What's yeah, and then we gotta do coffee cups everywhere. We buy like a whole bunch of coffee cups, like tape them on the wall and... Just go I'm pretty sure that's like using coffee cups improperly. Like, I was pretty sure you're supposed to put liquid in them and set them and on things. Them, yeah. I understand. I agree, but we, we've got to make it happen. And just because Zach said that he had that he was going to wrap things up, and he didn't consult me on this. I've got one more, just to spite. Oh, me. okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see how it is. Yeah. So, um, Aim Games or the Aim Games says Zach just did a PewDiePie moment at four minutes fifty four oh, seconds. Wow. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that means because I can only watch so much PewDiePie. Why did they intentionally try to imitate him? I just had a seizure at that time. Is that what happened? Yeah. I was like, w w can, can you do that again? <laughs> Probably not. I can, I can try. All right. Can we slow that down a little bit? All righty. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for yet another episode. Uh, we are trying to keep these a little bit shorter for you, the Freedom Family, because we know you want to get through your day. Let us know in the comment section down below, do you like more news stories, less news stories? What, what do you enjoy most and least about the show? And what would you add? That's actually uh, something we want to do. Oh. We want to add a specific question, a comment question of the day so that we'll talk about the next day or, or in the future. Um, and that's our comment question of the day. What would you add or remove from Rehash? Anyways. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. And be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.